time once those survey results were given. Well, what was more uh, positive than you expected? Well, the, to see that people had a high rates of satisfaction on um, personal safety, that was very important because um, it, is, it is a service that operates into the night, the night service that we've taken measures to improve safety on the, on the system, such as the, the stop the request stop program. So seeing that that's actually valued by customers and customers feel safe on our public transit, I think is very important. Yeah. What is your message, I guess, to, to Torontonians who are going to be heading into a number of years of, of traffic issues related to the Edmonton Cross? Well, and that's all part of what we're doing to understand how to minimize those traffic concerns and, and, the, uh, and mitigate against the construction. And so part of what we'll do with I.O. is figure out, again, can we tunnel under Young and Eglinton? Can, will that help minimize traffic and congestion and construction upset? And so all of that work is very important and underway. How do you think that we've always read this from Brad Moses is that what Sam just explained to us is that everywhere there's a station, they've got to cut and cover. So if there's no way, they won't be cutting and covering near Eglinton. Okay, well that's, uh, that's something I heard different from Sam So Brad, can you clarify? Yeah. Yep, yep. I'm right about that, what I just said. So what we have to do is extract, so there's two things will happen at Young and Eglinton. Yeah. One is we have to have a, uh, an extraction shaft for the whole Am I right so far? The tunnel boring machine. And on the other side of the station, we have to have a launch shaft. Because we can't tunnel the middle of the station. The existing line, the integrity of the station itself. So, uh, so we will need to do cut and cover at every single station. Are there ways that we can, and what really I think what Sam was saying is how do we minimize the impact that, say, Young and Eglinton? Where is that station going to be exactly relative to the road? We've got a bus terminal there that's basically impacting that would be a staging ground potentially for a launch shaft. So, we, you know, can we minimize construction at the corner of Young and Eglinton with respect to uh, cut cover? There's going to be construction at the corner of Young and Eglinton. What we do is minimize So there will be a, uh, there's an entire community consultation process that has been developed. Uh, there is, in fact, a community office open now on that point to ensure that businesses, to ensure that residents, to ensure that everybody who's going to be impacted by construction uh, in the community is well aware of what's happening, uh, what the timelines are going to be, uh, whether or not we want to implement the time based transfer system like we have in St. Clair, for example, uh, all of those types of things. Working with the community, community means people can come into these community offices, get information, ask questions, going out to community, speaking to community groups, all of those kinds of things that have been happening already with respect to the station. Station is Karen, what was your understanding of cut and cover? What? Yeah, mine's, so mine's different. So we're going to have to get that resolved next month when we when we meet again. Uh, with I.O. to talk about what the role of I.O. is and how the construction is going, going to get done. Because my understanding was that the cut and cover was only going to get done at the interchange stations and if we could avoid the cut and cover at Eglinton and Young, that would be a positive thing. So that's something that I think we do need to continue to monitor and, and make sure that we understand the best way to do this project to minimize the impact on the local community. So it's possible to tunnel a station? Yeah. But, but that's yeah, but let's. I mean, as, as, as the chair said, let's 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 get those details for the next meeting, so that when we come back, we know exactly what we're talking about with respect to technically what we need to do. That's the at intersections like Young and Eglinton that are so critical to the city. Whatever we can do to minimize that impact, we will do. So yes, it is possible from the Allen over. To, there's a lot of intersections that are very narrow. Well, and that, that's, again, I think the question that we're going to want to have an answer for for our next meeting, because if we can do it, we should do it, because that's the best way to minimize the impact of the city. How would you describe the cut and cut to someone that was... Right, so there's ways that you can go. So you tunnel underneath the intersection, and then you can build the station by going in, and it's like a permanent project where you can go in and actually design the station, and you can go tunnel underneath, design the station. Then, when you cut and cover, you actually have to dig up the intersection in the middle. And so you're reducing traffic, you've got to move lanes, and so it's not, it's less like a condo construction project, more like a major intersection, a major digging up of an intersection like you can see up a hill with a subway. So you, you are pushing for the tunneling of the Eglinton Crosstown Station, the Eglinton, yeah. 
that's something I'd like to see, and I'd like to be able to have a full report on, on how it can be done. If it can't be done, why it can't be done. So I thought I heard, I may have missed this, you were thinking of moving a motion to that effect. Did you decide to follow up in the next month or not? No, no, no. Okay. I just I, uh, I just wanted to ask Sammy about it and, and make sure that I understood how we were going to approach that construction and that if we can actually tunnel it and then build the stations in a different way that minimizes con confusion and congestion on, on the streets, and that's the way we should do it. So you're saying you can do that. He's saying you can't. It's not possible. We have to cut and cover every station. So I'm saying for the next meeting, we want to have answers to that and understand why. It, if a cut and cover is, in fact, the way that it has to get done, we just need to have good answers as to why. But do you actually, in the end, does the TTC have control over that, given that it's an I.O. project? Yeah, and that's part of next month as well, that I.O. may in fact take over the project and those decisions will be made by I.O. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. So how, how many stations are working right now? I think there's, there's one for sure, maybe two, but again, those, those decisions will come back in the final design. Okay, perfect. There was the one that Josh is worried about in his neighborhood, I think Chesswood. Oakwood. Oakwood, thank you. <laughs> That's Josh. Oakwood. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank you. Anything else?